Law looks like we have a 64-year-old male with decreased mental status and a history of diabetes. We don't know if his blood sugar is high or low. Correct. It just says he's having uh, some unknown diabetic, diabetic complication. Problems. No two diabetic calls are the same. It can be a variety of things. His blood sugar could be too high, it could be too low, or he could be something completely different altogether, such as stroke or some other type of neurological problem that we won't know until we get there and assess him. So yeah, it's Friday night. This dude called me early, like super panicky, because he danced with this girl, and he saw that her friend that was with her is friends on social media with his girlfriend. So he's like, what if she tells her? I'm like, tells her what? Did she dance with him? I'm like, dude, you're yes. acting like a guilty person. Yes, that's, that's not a big okay. deal. Yes. If your girl was dancing with another dude, like, you'd have no issues, none at all. <sighs> Some random dude, she just dancing. Not dirty dancing, just dancing. I would not have a problem with it. Oh, no, you lying. Say no. <laughs> the girl said, yeah, yeah, no, it's not OK. How you doing, honey? Right here, ma'am. Oh, OK, all right. Hello. What up, what up? Hello. This is about 30. OK. Uh, is this responsive talk at all to you guys? I mean, visual, you'll look at us, but uh, no verbal response. Stop, stop, stop. You, did you, did you, don't worry, I'm going to just try to get this IV first, and maybe he'll come around a little more. And It's pretty common for diabetics with low blood sugar to be extremely combative at times. A lot of times they don't realize that they're doing it. Normal blood sugar ranges from 70 to 120. The brain needs sugar, and if that's not balanced, then they typically uh, sometimes act out. So you just came in and found him down, or what? Well, I was going to cook dinner to bring over. They didn't respond, so I was like, um, go check on him. And he was not responsive. So we just gave him some sugar in his veins, so hopefully he'll respond to that, and we'll go from there, OK? After giving him D50, the patient doesn't respond at all. He's basically presenting as he did initially. He's still altered and combative, confused. And I'm worried now, because usually one amp of D50 would rouse these patients. Stop it, baby. It's OK, my man. Let's not do that. Your blood sugar's a little low, OK? We're trying to help you. Just relax, my man. It's all right, it's okay, just relax. Hey, look, your blood sugar's low, okay? My name's Danny, I'm a paramedic. We're trying to get your blood sugar up, all right? Okay? You need a sugar check? Yeah, let's double check it real fast. Oh, this is surprising that he didn't come around to it. I just, just want to give him more since he's not really responding. 50. It's crazy that it's still that low. It depends if he took his insulin two hours ago and he's been sitting here. And hadn't eaten at all. I'm pretty certain this uh, second dose of D50 should get him up. My partner and I are dispatched to a male with altered mental status with a history of diabetes. I'm shocked that the patient does not respond to the first dose of D50, but I know that I have more that I can give him and see if he does respond. How are you? It's OK. Look, you're in the back of an ambulance, OK? Your blood sugar got really low, and your daughter came to check on you and found you passed out in your chair, OK? So we're the paramedics. We just gave you some sugar in your veins, all right? It's OK. I'm sure things are still a little cloudy right now, but we're going to take care of you. I'm going to get you covered. Know, babe. When was the last time you ate? Can you tell me that? So we just have to give him two doses of that sugar. He's kind of up and talk. He's okay, kind of coming see, around now. Coming yeah, around, so you yeah. think you can leave him? Considering it was like so low that it took so much sugar, he probably should be checked out in the hospital. What time do you take your insulin? Every day at what time? Okay. When I eat, right before I eat. How old are you? I got you. How many quarters make a dollar? Four. All righty. So hold real still, OK? We're going to take a picture of your heart. I can't hold still. I'm shivering. Try to sit as still as you can. We're going to take you to the VA to get you checked out, OK? Because uh, your blood sugar was really low. And your daughter's outside. She's going to meet us over there, OK? All right, baby. Okay, it's fine. It's not very
quick, stick on your finger. 120, that's a good number for us. What's your blood sugar? 120. 120. After the second dose of D50, it's like a light switch. The patient immediately pops up. He's alert. He's still somewhat groggy. So we don't know if maybe he took too much insulin or that he simply just didn't eat enough. But it's important that he goes to the hospital to be monitored. If we leave him home, he may end up right where he started and eventually die. My blood was almost just yeah, you either took too much insulin or just didn't eat when you when you I, took it. I might have taken it and not eaten. Most likely. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Randomizer, randomizer. No, they're not dead. I can work with that.